Hi McNeely, welcome to Book Talk Friday. Today I have two incredible middle grade choices that I'd like to talk to you about. The first is called Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park. This book is getting a lot of buzz right now and it's well deserved. It's a nominee for the Global Read Aloud book and so this is one of two middle grade choices that we may be reading next year. This book is really for anyone who has struggled to see themselves reflected in the literature and the books that they read. Hannah is a young girl who has lost her mom and her and her dad travel to the Midwest in the 1880s in the United States. And Hannah is half Chinese and it's not a friendly environment for her to be in. A lot of people in the town have never even seen an Asian person in their life. So Hannah has to pave the way and show how strong she is. She needs to fight for the right to go to school. She and her father have to fight to open the dress shop that they'd like to open in the town. And Hannah ends up finding her voice and using it in a beautiful way. So the reason I love this book is because Linda Sue Park was a big fan of Little House on the Prairie when she was growing up. She loved that series, she read it all the time. However, as an Asian girl, she never saw herself reflected as a character in those stories. And so she decided when she grew up and became an author that she was going to write a story that was set in the setting of Little House on a Prairie. And she was gonna write a character based on herself into the book. And I love the idea that if you don't see yourself in the books that you read, you can grow up or even right now, you could write them and make your way into the stories. So it's a really beautiful message that this, stor this story gives us and so many rich themes and discussion points. The next book I wanna chat with you about is called Some Kind of Happiness by Claire Legrand. I'm gonna read the first page, the opening line of this book. If you are afraid, sad, tired, or lonely, if you feel lost or strange, if you crave stories and adventure and the magic possibility of a forest path, this book is for you. This book is one of the most unique stories I've ever read. It's the story of Finley Hart. She's struggling with her parents' divorce and she's shipped off to her grandparents' house, who she's never met before, to live with a bunch of cousins who she's never met before while their parents work through their divorce. Finley feels really alone and the only escape that she has is this magical world called the Everworld, which is this forest kingdom that she's created and she writes about in her journal. So the writing style of this book is really interesting. It goes back and forth between Finley's perspective of her real life and, and her writing of the Everworld. So it's part fantasy, part reality, and the two keep intertwining throughout the story. So her and her cousins embark on this adventure in her grandparents' backyard forest, and they imagine it's the Everworld. The Everworld sort of comes to life through their play. And as the family mystery and secrets build, so does the plot in the Everworld side by side until they come to one spectacular conclusion. I love this book because it confronts uh, childhood mental illness and depression in a head-on way, in a really beautiful way, and it doesn't shy away from dealing with that topic. So I really love both of these stories because I feel like for the right reader at the right time, they could be life-changing. So thanks for listening. Have a great week, and I will see you next Friday.